Hi everyone. Okay, so today we're going to talk about newborn cloth nappies. All right, so we make two types of cloth nappies for newborns. You can either opt for our little Dawn Patrol fitted. Okay, it's a fitted type of nappy. Looks very much like a disposable nappy and you put a super wrap cover over it. Okay, or you can opt for our flats, which are squares um, that we show you on our website how to fold and to put on. Also a very easy nappy, even though it doesn't look like a nappy. Um, they are equally as easy, in my opinion, as a fitted nappy. Um, yes, you need to fold it, but folding actually becomes very enjoyable and very therapeutic um, and just part of your life, um, basically. All right. And all of our nappies must be used with a waterproof cover, our super rough cover, which has a fleece binding, which is so beautiful for those tiny little leggies in those um, newborn days. Very lovely and soft. Okay, so let's have a look at our, our Dawn Patrol Mini. So this nappy fits usually from about, you can make it work from about two kilos, um, fits to usually about six and a half, seven kilos, baby, depending. That is usually around three to four months. Okay, babies grow at different rates. Um, but what I always say to moms who are keen to do newborn cloth is really, Try not focus on how long a newborn cloth nappy fits. Um, the reason I say that is what really needs to be focused on is why you're doing cloth nappies. Just because a nappy like this is only going to fit for three months doesn't mean that you shouldn't opt for cloth. Keep in mind that babies go through things at such a rapid rate, especially in the first year. They grow like weeds. <laughs> um, but remember that during the newborn phase, they go through the most amount of nappies in their entire diaper life uh, because they wee and poop a lot. <laughs> That's what you will do for three months is change nappies, basically. You're looking at between 12 and 15 nappy changes in a 24-hour period. So it's really, if you're using single-use plastics, it's a huge, huge, huge amount of waste that has been thrown into the bin um, and a lot, a lot of landfill um yeah it really is uh just to give you a monetary value you're looking at spending about 1000 rand a month for the first four months uh, of a baby's life on single-use plastics so that 4000 rand will be thrown into the bin uh, and into landfill so really it's important that you focus on that when you're trying to decide whether or not newborn cloth is worth it, it is so worth your while doing newborn cloth nappies. These can be resold after they've um, been used because they were only used for three or four months. They are, will be in great condition um, and you can resell them or you can also keep them for baby number two. So that's actually eight grand. If you have three children, geez, that's even more money. So you really need to look at that when you are thinking about do, new, doing newborn cloth. Um, it's not difficult. It's very much just the decision that you've made and you just decide to go with it. Our nappies are very easy to use, very easy to wash. It's not a lot of hard work. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind if you're kind of on the fence as to whether or not it's worth it. It really, really is. It really is. Okay, so back to back to what you can use on your newborn. Um, yeah, this is our, our day nappy. So let's have a look inside. All right, let's pop our camera down there. So when you open it up, um, it comes with an insert. All right. Now, newborns wee a lot, okay? They start weeing a lot from about three or four weeks old. That's because um, you kind of regulate your breastfeeding or your bottles. They start to regulate, they start to take in more, they start to grow, um, and they start to wake up a bit. Um, so what, what you will need to do is, if you are purchasing our Dawn Patrol fitted, you will need to buy an uh, extra pack of our boosters, um, which basically is an insert, okay? But boosters are inserts that are bought additionally for extra layers. And then what you do is you add your extra booster um, in your nappy. What you can also do, actually, which is a lovely, a lovely trick, um, instead of adding the booster in the nappy, you can actually add the booster in the cover like that so that when you put it on, when you put the nappy on, you've actually got the extra layers there, which just reduces bulk in the actual crotch. Okay, um, so yeah, these need an extra booster from about, I'd say three or four weeks old, sometimes sooner, sometimes a bit later. You will be able to tell. So what will happen is when you are using this with just with the one booster, the entire nappy will get saturated, okay? What's often left is a small dry patch at the back. Um, 
Newborn nappies get about 80 to 90% visibly saturated. As long as the nappy is not leaking, as long as you don't have any wet clothes, it means the nappy is functioning beautifully. If you feel like it's too wet to the touch, that's when you start to add this. Or when you start to get actual leaking, then you know it's time to start to add your booster. Okay, so that's your, that's your key sign. Um, and yeah, these normally fit to about 7 kilos, as mentioned, normally about 3 months. And then you can pop, put them away or you can, you can sell them. Okay, now we have our flats. Flats are really lovely nappies to use, all right? Um, they all require a booster, for, again, from about three to four weeks old. Um, let's just fold one. So you're gonna do something that looks like that. Flats are beautiful for newborns, okay? They really, really are. The reason being is because they are so customizable to any shape or size. There are tricks on our website that shows you how to make it bigger or smaller depending on the baby's weight. That's not something we're going to go into today. Um, but if you do opt for flats, that's something that you can have a look at. Then you will be adding your booster there. Um, you can start to use fleece liners. The reason that we, we suggest getting a pack of about 10 fleece liners. Some babies are a bit sensitive to wetness. Because they sleep for very long periods, if you're lucky enough to have a baby that sleeps for longer than three or four hours, then it's a very good idea to start adding a liner, which just basically keeps their bum dry. Okay, um, they're lovely. They work really well. Um, cloth nappies don't cause any rashes, unlike disposable nappies. We have seen some horrific pictures of rashes. Gosh, um, so that's one thing you, you'll be sure not to have is, is, is rashes or no need to use any sort of bum cream. Okay, bum creams came out with disposable nappies to prevent rashes or to try and soothe rashes caused by chemicals. So we obviously don't have that problem. So um, all of our nappies are fully absorbent nappies, moms and dads, um, meaning that the whole nappy absorbs. Okay, that's why they work so well. Please, I really urge you to stay away from nappies that have, say, like a waterproof outer and then a, 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 a kind of an insert that you stuff in here. They may look convenient, but the biggest complaint of all my clients is that those nappies leak at newborn stage because the newborns wee so much that the nappy actually can't cope. Um, and it just seems like such a huge waste of money to invest in 30 nappies that actually don't end up working. It's not the case for everyone or, or, or all types of nappies here in South Africa, but there really are a lot of those nappies that are bought because they look easy. They aren't easy uh, because they all often end up leaking. Uh, which is a problem. So please be, do your research and be very careful about the style of nappy you buy. I really urge you to stick to a fitted or a flat plus a cover. Um, they basically will never let you down in terms of in terms of leaking. So let's talk about daytime and nighttime for newborns. If you opt for a fitted nappy, okay, um, this can be used day and night. So it's very convenient. Um, you can use it for about a two to three hour stretch. You may need to add another booster from about three or four weeks old. Um, and, and, and yeah, these, this, the boosting really is the key to our system. So always purchase a pack of boosters with your nappies. Um, they will never go to waste. And what's wonderful is even the newborn version can be used way past the three month mark. I mean, I used to use my newborn boosters in my night nappies when my boy was three years old, just for that extra little bit of layers. So they really don't ever go to waste. You will never be sitting with these in your cupboard. So yeah, night, daytime and nighttime, you can use your use your fitted and the same goes for your flat okay um how you boost and how many layers you create with your flats uh, really does depend on the length of time baby sleeps that's really it if you have a lovely baby that sleeps for so long as four or five hours at night then what you may need you may even need to add um two boosters which of course now i can't find the one there was two on my table um but yeah you may oh there it is so what you might need to do is you might need to add one in the actual nappy um, and then one in your cover which basically just creates those extra layers um, which then really does accommodate for that time i mean how many of these you add will i mean there's a limit because a baby is quite small so you probably will only get two in there but that really should be enough it will accommodate uh, for the time needed up until about three months old and then um, things start to change over that but we have another video yeah, so those are your flats and your fitted style. Then you have your little super app waterproof cover, which has to be used at all times. Okay, nappies cannot be used without a waterproof cover. Uh, very comfy and very easy to use. It's adjustable for birth where you can snap up these buttons 
uh, and the velcro as baby grows kind of gets further and further apart until you're kind of on the last legs which should fit to about seven kilos okay for breastfeeding mums we have lovely cloth nursing pads which fit very well into your bra they are very discreet uh, they contour the shape of your breast breast um, and really they're so wonderful you don't need to use disposable nursing pads which are very scratchy and itchy um, and these you can just wash in the, in the shower or hand wash them in a basin when you are done usually about one or two pairs a day um, good to have three or four pairs for full-time use and one last little item I wanted to show you was um, a vest extender these are so amazing uh, even if you don't do clot nappies because what you do is you clip them onto either side of the vest which are very convenient to be used as babies for, for babies and because your cloth nappy is creates uh, a little bit of bulk between the legs these are wonderful because they just create um, extra wearing time for your baby grows uh, up to like a month so yeah get a pack of these um, if your baby um, is wearing cloth nappies or even if they're not wearing cloth nappies and that is basically all you need for your newborn stage yeah um i'd just like to end by saying you know um using cloth nappies is not difficult um it's really just a mindset and you know, you will save so much money and so much landfill especially in the first four months of your baby's life i urge you to get going as soon as you can what can happen is um, if you don't start your cloth early enough you can get into the habit of using your disposable nappies and then it feels like cloth is a mission but it's really not uh, what you do what you will definitely find is when you start to use your cute little cloth nappies and uh, they work so well and you really feel like you're just doing such a good thing in terms of environmental saving as well as um, for your own pocket and for babies you no know, chemicals on the bum um, the washing and 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 what felt like was going to be hard work it's really not it's just you throw a machine you throw nappies into a machine you wash them and you, you dry them you actually can't wait to get these back on the bum because it's so satisfying the whole journey of using your cloth nappies ends up just being so satisfying um that it's really not hard work at all yeah so yep i hope you i hope you enjoyed our video welcome to the pokoloki tribe and please reach out if you need any help